Hello and welcome! I'm DDF Racer, and today, right now, when this video goes live on Saturday, April the 17th, 2021, I'll be getting married. It actually feels quite weird recording this in advance. Now, obviously this means I'm going to be away from the channel for the next few weeks, not doing any live streams. So, instead, I thought I'd kick things off with something a little bit special, and also set a challenge to you guys at the same time. A hot lap challenge. In 1983, Stefan Beloff set a lap record in his Group C Porsche 956 at the Nordschleife that would stand for 35 years. A lap time of 6 minutes and 11.13 seconds. This was the qualifying session for the 1000 kilometers of the Nürburgring, a race which Beloff would ultimately retire from with a crash into the barriers at just under half distance. But that stunning pole lap still remains as one of the most revered laps in motorsport. And it could have been even faster! He later admitted that he made a couple of mistakes and even got held up in traffic, so who knows what the ultimate lap time might have been. Today then, I'm going to give it my best shot to at least try and get close to this time in race room, and then throw it over to you guys to give it a go as as well. Quick disclaimer, the Group C car available in race room is not the Porsche 956. Instead, it's the Porsche 962 which was actually manufactured a few years after the car Beloff used to set his lap record. So technically that already puts me at a slight advantage, but hey, <laughs> I'm gonna need all the help I can get. I put a link in the video description to the official race room leaderboard for this car track combo so you guys can load up my lap as a ghost if you like, and also keep track of yours and everybody else's best efforts while I'm away. Also, I've uploaded a copy of the setup that I'm using to my Discord server, link in the description below. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to leave it a like and maybe consider subscribing as well because later this year I will be hosting a full Hot Lap Challenge Championship. Anyway, I think it's time I give this one a go. Okay, so here I am in the car, just about to start my first timed effort here at the Nordschleife. Now it will be manual shifter, H pattern, clutch, heel and toe, just like I did at Road America in that Group C race, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with uh, with how that one ended. <laughs> Completely different challenge today, so I'm just going to go and set a banker lap, get a time on the board, see how it compares, and then see where we can improve. So, let's do this. Off to a great start already. <laughs> so much power in this thing. I hardly touched it then. Slow it right down. Come on, Dan. You're pushing way too hard. Oh, okay. Well, two things I've learned immediately is that the braking zones are way longer than you think, and it doesn't have enough revs. We can fix that in the setup later, though, but just come on, Dan. Let's get... A, just take it easy. Just get a bank lap on the board. This is getting a bit silly now. Ah! Oh, come on. Honestly, the braking zones of this thing are so much longer than you just think they are. And you've got to be so careful in the acceleration zones. And even through the corners, there's... There's a heap of grip, but it doesn't feel like there's a heap of grip because the insane amount of top speed just deceives you. Anyway, we definitely need to fix that rev limiter issue when we start playing around with the setup. Super early on the brakes there. I've been doing this for a while now, and I just want to try and get a time on the board because I still haven't got a time on the board. Very frustrating. <laughs> Not going to lie, guys. I thought I was going to be able to knock this video over pretty quickly today, but... I can see myself spending quite a few hours on this. 
Don't worry, the video itself won't be a few hours long. I will edit it down to make it a little bit more manageable to watch, but yeah, th this is going to take a while, that's for sure. And for the eagle-eyed viewers amongst you, you may have noticed that my seating position has moved slightly since I started driving. That's because my right foot was starting to cramp up already. So I just needed to move the chair back, get a little bit more purchase on that brake pedal with the heel toe. Ah, it's going so well. And of course, coming out the slow speed stuff, because this is a turbo car, you need to keep those revs as high as possible to keep this old school style turbo spooled up. Once you start dropping below about 6,000, it just bogs down this thing. So you really need to, it's such a peaky car. And remarkably for the first time, the carousel, nice and easy. Nice and easy. So easy to spin out coming out the top here. That felt so slow. <laughs> no doubt I'll be able to do that faster once I get a little bit more confidence in this thing. Oh! Oh! Those curbs. <laughs> Those curbs. I'm just trying way too hard, way too quickly. Just need to slow it down, DDF. Okay, this lap I'm gonna do at 80%. I'm not gonna touch those curbs. I'm not gonna go anywhere near the ragged edge on the limit. I'm just, just wanna get it across the line. See what kind of pace we're dealing with here. It took me half an hour to get to this point of the track. Down the Dottinger Herb for the first time. I do feel quite lucky that I recently recorded a radical race in iRacing here at the Nordschleife. So at least my knowledge of the circuit and my rough kind of bearings are relatively up to date. Just this car is so much, so much trickier than the radical. You have the grip, but not the brakes. Speaking of which, let's pick a point. That was way too early, but hey, I'm just being safe for now. Let's get a lap on the boards. What are we dealing with? A six minutes two. I'm already way faster than Belloff's record. And that was with quite a lot held in reserve as well, just to try and survive. And with absolutely no set of changes on the car. Wow. Okay, so... But we smashed the record already, but like I said in the intro, it's not representative because this isn't the same car. This is obviously a few years newer than the car that Stefan Belloff would have used. So obviously the next target is going to be getting that under six minutes, which shouldn't be too difficult, he says, spending half an hour to get one lap on the board. But the thing I've found with hot lapping is once you get your bearings, once you've set one lap, it's easier to then just replicate that and do that all over again. So now that we have that, we have at 6 minutes 2.877. Already nearly uh, 9 seconds faster than Stefan Bellos' record. Let's see how fast we can get. Okay, so what I've done to the car, I've increased the final drive on the gear ratio by one click. But that's made a huge difference to the top speed. But it feels very strange, because now I'm in first gear and I'm struggling for revs. Like, the car is bogging down so much, I have to clutch kick it to try and get some speed in the car. Now, previously I'd be topping out in fifth gear here. I'm not even in fourth. I mean, to be fair, the gear ratio was already only one click from maximum, so this is maximum final drive on the gear ratio. It's way too much. It's crazy revs have... I don't think I've ever driven a car with gear revs, uh, gear ratios this long before. I don't really think this is the right direction to be going in. I think maybe I should be... Oh! Wow, it just didn't turn. Didn't slow down, didn't turn then. Just bogged it down. Maybe I need the high revs to try and kick the tail out a bit to get it to turn, but... I think maybe what I might do is go back to the previous gear ratios, but just increase top gear a little bit to give me that extra drive at the end of fifth, because I can't really get much speed through the corners with this higher rev range. So, back to the setup menu. Whoa! 
Oh, around it goes. Oh, this, this is going to take a while to get this lap in there today. And it is worth pointing out as well that I'm running Mix 5. But if you are struggling, if you are not really getting to grips with the car on the track and it's too much, turn the engine down to Mix 2 or 1 maybe. Get used to the car on low power and then just progressively turn the mix up. That should help. In fact, I should probably do that as well. Oh, around it goes. But actually, that didn't discount the lap, so I'm going to keep going. And this is the reason why we kept going. Because now I can see what kind of difference this has to the Delta at top speed. Obviously, I'm pushing more Ks than I did last time round. I'm not peeking out on the revs last time round. Look at that. Gaining so much time. But the car isn't quite topping out, so I could probably take fifth gear down one click, I reckon. Maybe two, but we'll try one first. Your lap time was 6.08.3. <laughs> Even with a 360 spin, we're still faster than Belov's time. That must just go to show you guys that this isn't really a fair challenge today. Obviously, we're driving different cars. It's the closest that race room's got, but yeah. Now it's all about ultimate lap time. I think I'm finally starting to get this car. Brake early. Lift off to rotate. Progressive throttle delivery. If you do that, at least you'll survive. <laughs> oh, also no curbs. Not the big ones at least anyway. Ah, oh, so close. Okay, Dan, we need to watch these track limits. Four seconds up and so close. That would have been under six minutes. Oh, let's try again. Oh, there are so many places you can get caught out at the Nordschleifer. I guess that's why they call it one of the most difficult circuits in the world. To only have one lap time on the board so far, and a lap time that was at like 80% push, just... Oh, this, this is... An incredibly frustrating experience. I honestly, I wish you guys the best of luck with this because this is driving me crazy. Because you might get one half of the circuit right, but then you'll fall apart in the second half or make one stupid little downshift that's wrong or hit one curb that you shouldn't hit or just be a little bit too adventurous on the accelerator. And it's all gone. And it's not like it's a quick reset. It's obviously, it's, it's a six minute lap here. Oh, bit of grass there. Hasn't affected the time too much, that's good. Steady does it, steady does it. Woo! There we go! 5.5 seconds up. 5.6, 5.7. 5.8, 5 5.9, 5 6, I can't even keep up. <laughs> Just pick a good braking point. Oh, that was so scruffy. But it'll do, it'll do. Time was 5.55.5 5 seconds. All the fives! I think I'm gonna have a play around with the setup, so let me just go and have a think about this and have a think about the car. Okay, so what I've done is I've loaded the setup that I used in that Road America Group C race when Race Room hosted the weekly ranked event at Road well, Road America, obviously. And that seemed to do me quite well in that race. I know that Road America is kind of a different circuit than the Nordschleifer, but I just want to see how it handles. See if it's going in the right direction or see if it's going in the wrong direction. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, down. To watch the track limits. Oh, that was a big bin. That's got so much more understeer than the, than the default setup, so that's a no from me. So what's the biggest problem at the moment? The, the, the car, well, apart from being notoriously difficult to drive, it's not great 
on acceleration, it spins out very easily. So I could do with some more on power stability. So I'm going to pop that up a little bit. And I'm going to increase the preload a bit as well. Drop the rear springs a bit. Uh, rear anti-roll bar. I might drop that one click as well. Make that a bit softer. I don't like messing around with tow values too much. Because for my level of engineering, it's very basic levels of engineering. I, I'm not quite sure what I'm playing with. Uh, I'm sure you guys can let me know in the comments. I might drop the brake pressure just to try and help with some of that locking. Let's save that as a separate version. Let's go and give that a try. Oh, that's a good start. <laughs> there are so many black... Whoa, whoa, no. Come on. What I was trying to say is there are so many black lines on the circuit where I've gone into the barriers. There's evidence of death of many DDFs around the Nordschleifer right now. I hope this lap doesn't create any more. So maximum focus from now on. Oh, the meme just writes itself, doesn't it? Oh, just got a big cramp in my right foot. Ah! This is hopeless. Oh, f far out. No! Oh, no! Oh, Dan, you idiot. You spent two hours trying to get that and you... Oh, forget the breaking zone. This challenge has broken me. I'm so over this, I really am. I've been going at this for like... A disproportionate amount of time. I just can't get a clean lap on the board. I want to cry. It's, I think this challenge has broken me. So just FYI, there is a massive crack in the middle of my 3D printed wheel. It's bending on the right hand side to the point where it's like detaching halfway through the corners. I. I honestly don't think it's got more than a couple of laps left in it. So I guess this is the natural point for me to start stopping because I've been doing this for four hours. And as you can imagine, sitting in this sim rig for like four hours, non-stop trying to get this lap done. My back is so sore. My knees are so sore. My feet I just want to fall off right now. I am a broken man. So scruffy, so scruffy, but I don't think, like I said, I don't think my wheel's got much left in it. Ah! Okay, so from now on at this point of the video, guys, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to try and concentrate and I'm really going to try and just focus on getting this lap nailed. I need absolute 100% mental focus for this. So... What you're about to see next will be my best lap of my hot lap attempt. So, here we go.
right front locking into Bergwerk. Just done a five fifty three point two. I'll do it again.
Don't mess up the final corner. Don't mess up the final corner, please. Six hours. Six hours of this. Okay, here we go. I'm done. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm done for a few days. That's it. Words kind of fail me right now, guys. I am empty. I am broken. I am in. I'm sore. My shoulders, my knees, my feet, my hands. I've, I've broken my, my 3D printed wheel. And I think I've broken myself, to be honest with you. <laughs> but don't let that put you off. Honestly, it is a lot of fun. So, my lap time. 551.66. Is it faster than Stefan Belov? Yes. About 20 seconds faster, but that's because the car is a lot newer. It's the closest race room has got, but that is... yeah. Beat Stefan Belov, currently fastest in the world in this car track combination in race room. It's a very specific, it needs to be something in the world of, but hey, I'll take it. It is now your turn to go and give that a go. Bonus points if you use a H pattern shifter and heel and toe. Uh, my setup is in my Discord server, so check the video description for that link. And of course, to say hello and welcome to the rest of the DDF Racer community while you're there, of course. But yeah, I'm done. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave it a like, share your thoughts in the comments, go and give it a go, subscribe to the channel, get the setup from Discord, and just look after yourselves. Bye bye for now. <laughs>